Hi everyone. Um, I just finished doing a video for my um, A Court of Thorns and Roses um, discussion. I made a little video because they're trying to get into a TV show. But um, I had this idea today. This was another video I wasn't planning on making today, but I was just thinking about this earlier today. And I wanted to see if I'm not alone. <laughs> so this year so far, I have read um, the Shadow and Bone Trilogy and the Six of Crows Duology by Lee Bardugo. I have also read the entire Accord and Th of Thorns and Roses um, series, including that mini fourth book um, by Sarah J. Moss. And so right now I'm currently reading A Song of, a Song of Achilles by um, Madeline Miller. But then after that, I'm going to be reading um, the actual Throne of Glass series. And so I was thinking about it and I was like, you know, fantasy books are really, like especially fantasy series, are really just my favorite kind of books. Like I love just diving into a new world um, where I can fall in love with characters that are going to be with me for four or five books. Um, I just love all things vampires and werewolves and magic and you know these big fake royal kingdoms and just like and fairies as I've gotten into with Sarah J Moss. So fantasy books are my absolute favorite kind of thing to read and like with movies um, I love scary movies. I love scary movies. I love movies that have to do with vampires whether or not they're scary so like Twilight but then also things like that movie Daybreakers if any of you guys have seen it or Van Helsing which is one of my all-time favorite movies and I was literally going to make a video about it because I think everybody needs to watch it so expect that from me. But yeah I just love everything that has to do with that and I think that really stemmed from when I was younger um and I used to and the first thing that really got me into reading in a series besides like Junie B. Jones you know Lemony Snicket Harry Potter was that thing for me in elementary school that really got me into reading that, that really engaged my love for you know reading series and learning about magic and series and all of that stuff and you know as I've gone older I've read you know fantasy young adults. Um, the Sarah J Moss books are the first fantasy new adult books that I have ever gone into and they have just sparked even more interest in fantasy for me. But the thing I was thinking about today um, and like slightly feeling sorry for myself but does, does for anybody else does fantasy kind of make you very underwhelmed with your own life? <laughs> Like we read these books and these stories of these people, of these protagonists going on crazy adventures and being introduced to, you know, you know, it's, there, there's life and death situations and it's fiction and we know this, but they are introduced to some crazy things. Um, they, they either within themselves or experience, you know, magic. They, they, they fall in love with, you know, the prince or the the high lord like in the Sarah J Moss books or you know the vampire like in Twilight because we're all still 13 remember right and we read about these worlds that just have such complex magic and then we're reading them from the perspective of these characters that are going that are like firsthand experiencing the you know the crazy adventures the crazy love stories the crazy you know friendships and you know the passion that they have for other people or their cause or something like that and, and then you know after you're like reading for 30 minutes or an hour and you're like really really invested in what you're reading and then you kind of like snap out of it and like return to reality for it I get kind of sad because <laughs> it's like why can't I like I really want to live at freaking Hogwarts I really want to live in this beautiful spring court you know manor with gardens of roses going as far as the eye could see and then if I let myself think about it too much I'm just like oh my god I'm never going to experience this I'm never going to like be able to make something appear or move with a wand. I'm never going to have, you know, and, and this isn't and this isn't me feeling like feeling sorry for myself at in the slightest, but it's like I'm never going to have that like crazy, you know, I'm never going to have to go to Italy to stop my vampire boyfriend from killing himself. Like there's just certain things like that that it's like we're never going to get to experience because these things just don't exist, you know? And I think that is why fantasy are my favorite books to read because they are so far attached from reality that they are just the ultimate escapism for me at least I love reading all types of book books but I can read a book that has to do like with that is in this world and I'm just like okay I'm reading a story about another person and it's just it's basically it's just so much more exciting it's so much more exciting to be in these worlds 
and um you know there's a sense there's an element of danger in them that I that I don't necessarily want <laughs> but it's still exciting it's why people you know do crazy things they want that rush of whatever I mean which I don't do like I don't even like roller coasters so that's really ironic for me to even say that but um like I get it <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to say that, like, does anybody else kind of, like, have these same feelings where you're reading a book and then, like, because th this happens to me, like, when I finish a series, um, which is probably why I'm feeling this right now, because I just finished reading the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. And um, I probably feel again when I finish The Throne of Glass. But um, there's, like, a sense of nostalgia for this place that, for, like, these, these, these fictional magical places that we've never been to but that we feel so attached to but that we also know we're never going to get to experience like there's just a sense of like like nostalgia like I said and like sadness that comes upon me when I finish reading these series and I'm like oh my god it's over it's done I've already read it like I'm, I can't I can reread it but I'm never going to experience this like fresh for the first time again and it's just like oh yeah, I just wanted to say that. I thought I would do a quick little discussion-ish type video and see if anybody else feels the same way. I don't know what I'm going to title this. If I, what should I even call it? Are, are fantasy books depressing? I don't, <laughs> I don't even know. But yeah, what's your favorite kind of fantasy book to read? I um, am really excited um, because at the end of this year, Jay Kristoff, I believe his name is, I haven't read any of his books. I know of his, um, his books that he's written. I have one of them that I just haven't read, but apparently he's really seen this like big adult or like new adult type vampire book at, in September. So I'm super excited about that because I especially love vampires. They don't make good vampire content like they used to, you know what I'm saying? But um, what is your favorite type of fantasy to dive into? Um, do you like the Hogwarts style of fantasy where you're going into this, you know, magical world of a boarding school? Do you like magic in general? Do you like vampires? Do you like werewolves? Do you like fairies with giant wings? <laughs> Or do you like, you know, like Lee Bardugo stuff where you have like the Grisha? That was a, I, I feel like that's such a unique thing of for those books. I would say for me, um, my favorite would probably be fantasy books that have to do with magic. Um, either that or vampires. I haven't really read a lot of werewolf content, read or seen. Um, if anybody has any werewolf content for me. I would love to know because I am so curious about that genre and I've just never gotten into it. Van Helsing mwah, of a movie. One of my all-time favorites. I absolutely adore it. It's it's so good. I'm making a video about it because everybody needs to watch that. If you like fantasy, if you like vampires and werewolves and Frankenstein, that movie is for you. It is so good. I'm not even going to get into it right now because I'm literally going to make a whole other video about that because it's just so good. But yeah, does anybody else have these same feelings um, where you basically just get sad because you're never going to be able to live your life like your favorite fantasy novel? <laughs> What does that say about me that um, fantasy books are my favorite? But yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments and I will continue to be sad that a high lord will not steal me on my wedding day and take me to his night court. I will just... <laughs> we can all dream right but yeah let me know what you guys think thought about that um what are your thoughts i would absolutely i'm dying to know so please comment down below um and yeah thank you all so much for watching i will see you hopefully in my next video whatever that will be i think it's going to be a book review yeah thank you all so much for watching bye oh